if you built your Squarespace website in like 2020 or later, chances are you don't have the option to use a sidebar on your blog posts. And this can be really helpful to have because so many times people are coming to your website straight from Google um, through your blog post and they've never been to your website before. And it can be nice to have a place to like tell them about yourself, um, introduce your business a little bit and get them to stick around instead of just hopping over to, you know, back to Google. And so one thing that Squarespace does have that will help with this is called the author bio. But to set it up, it's pretty hidden. It's not in like any of your normal website settings or blog settings. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then if you still don't see it at the bottom of your blog post, it's because it's probably turned off by default. So I will also show you how to turn it on if it's not already. So let's get started. All right, here is my author profile. Um, that shows at the bottom of all of my blog posts because I have it turned on. It might look a little bit different on your um, website, but in general, this is what um, what it looks like. It's going to have your name, your uh, whatever description you write, your image, your profile image, and then your website address. So if you want to create one of these, what you're going to do is go to squarespace.com. So we're going to log in from the very beginning. So if you're not already logged in, you'll do that by clicking login up here. And then I'm going to go to my account dashboard. Okay. So then when you're in your dashboard, you'll click on your profile image up here and then click on profile. So here's where you can add your profile image if you don't already have one, your name, how you want that to be displayed, your website address, and then your bio. So this is where the author bio is written. And once you do that and you hit save up in the top left corner, then that is what's gonna show for every blog post that you are listed as the author on. And that is it. Now, once you have your author bio created, if you're not seeing it pop up at the bottom of your blog post, that means it's turned off by default. So to turn it on, you actually do need to get into your Squarespace website like you normally do when you're editing the website. And you're going to go to your pages panel and then find your blog, which is going to be the one with the little uh, pin icon next to it. Click on the blog and then you're just going to click on any blog post and now we can get into where um, you can turn this on. So you're going to edit the page as if you're going in to edit, you know, any other page on your website. But when you get to um, when like the page editor comes up, you'll see this little widget over here that says edit section. So we'll click that and this will be your blog post settings to like format what every blog post is going to look like. And these settings are universal. So anything you do on this post is going to apply to every single blog post. So you can see right here, there's an option that says show author name. Mine is turned off. When I turn it on, you'll see that it shows the author name right up here at the top of the post. So I don't like having that on because all of my blog posts are written by the same person, but I do put my author profile on. So when that's turned on, as I said, it's going to show up down here at the bottom. And the reason I keep that is just so that people can learn a little bit more about me if they've never come across my website before. So there you go. That is how to create an author bio and make sure that it is showing up on your blog posts.